Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchrich here with your outlook for March 15th, 2016. For your Tuesday, we're going to have an area of low pressure very slowly exiting the coast, and that is going to allow for some clouds to hang around for most of the day. We will have uh, a brief attempt at high pressure moving in later Tuesday, Tuesday night, and the first part of Wednesday, which is going to allow for, uh, I'd say we go to mostly cloudy skies. I don't think we really clear out completely. But uh, we'll have an opportunity for a shower just about any time today. But uh, it will be very, very hit or miss, very uh, wide, very widely scattered uh, if you do have anything uh, occurring today. But that will favor our southern areas for any leftover showers today. But uh, again, it's not going to be like anything like it was yesterday where we had just rain, uh, rain in the morning and then that hanging uh, drizzle and mist and fog hanging around much of the day. We will have that through about mid-morning today, and I think that will slowly improve throughout the day today. So we go a little bit further. Uh, again, high pressure is going to attempt to build in briefly, but we have this area of low pressure up to the Great Lakes. is going to send a warm front through our area here on uh, Wednesday afternoon. This is coming through as a warm front, and we'll bring some showers through our coverage area here. Not a lot, but just enough uh, on, on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Here's your warm front like this and it's pushing off to the northeast. That's going to bring a few showers on Wednesday afternoon and early evening, and then I think things improve after that point. We will have another opportunity for showers on Thursday, and this is going to favor the afternoon once again. A few showers rotating through with a cold front moving through this time. This is not one of those big Arctic cold fronts, though, that's going to bring a tremendous amount of uh, cold behind it. We will get cooler, uh, so instead of being in the 60s, and uh, you know, very warm on on Wednesday we're expecting, but then is and uh, even again on Thursday should be still pretty mild. But then as we get into uh, Friday and Saturday, we're going to cool down uh, into the 50s, and it's going to be uh, definitely noticeably cooler, but not super cold. We end up another uh, opportunity for a an isolated shower later on Friday with another cold front reinforcing shot of cold air coming in. And that would be uh, toward Friday afternoon and evening for our northern areas. Uh, high pressure is going to build in, though, here on Saturday. This uh, high pressure is actually very important uh, because what this does and how long it stays in position will determine what this system movement lurking in from the south will do. This is going to be a coastal system that's going to kind of come up the coast like this uh, and either... It's uncertain where the track is exactly. It could track over New Jersey or further inland or just off the coast, and that... Uh, will have huge implications of what kind of precipitation type we have with this system on Sunday. And yes, I did say precipitation type, so that does indicate there could be some wintry implications with this. Now, we talked about uh, when we released the spring outlook and we talked about uh, the effective end to the winter season, we said that the only way you're going to get snow is if something was perfectly timed and the stars aligned uh, perfectly. And that looks like in some models and uh, some model depictions, that is the case and so you've seen the european model we saw the european model uh yesterday the afternoon run really go crazy with some very heavy snow amounts across uh, much of eastern pa and northern new jersey i don't think that's going to be end up being the uh, bottom line case here if i wanted to draw where i thought you could get some snow would probably be out here in central pa northeastern pa up in this area now it's gonna i'm just circling you know, within our coverage area. obviously it goes up in new england too but uh these areas here we, we will be watching for uh, some accumulating snow. Further southeast from there, I really don't think you're going to be getting into that. Uh, you might have a mixed, uh, uh, mix of rain and snow at the tail end, perhaps. But uh, looks like it's, again, that's going to be track dependent, and it's going to depend on what that high pressure does. And the high pressure is going to deter be determined by what the upper level low does that's, uh, heading, that's preceding it. So there's a lot of different moving pieces here. As a matter of fact, well, before I get to that, I'll show you what this does here. Here's this system coming up the coast, and it looks like it's going to be primarily a rainmaker in those areas other than where I circled. But those those areas that I did circle could be talking about a significant snowfall. In some areas, uh, you could be talking about some more snow than you've received all season. In some of these north-central PA counties that have, have gotten six inches or less all year and missed out on those big storms that areas further south got uh, late January, like that big... Uh, Big snowstorm that dropped some 30 inches in some places. Areas up north barely got a dusting out of that. So, you know, they were way behind all, all year. So, again, depending on this track and what happens is will determine what uh, what kind of precipitation type we get from this system. If you look at the upper air pattern here. There's a couple different depictions of why the European model went crazy. This upper level low right here on the GFS 
was up here setting up a 50 50 low so the, the, that's quite a bit of a difference if this thing hangs around like the europeans uh it, it is indicating you're gonna have the high pressure that we showed on that previous graph uh locked in ahead of the storm bringing uh cold air so when that storm comes up the coast you'd have areas further south and east getting into the snowfall but if it's not here and it's further northeast up here and you have a 50 50 low well that's going to help the interior areas and that's it everywhere else is going to end up being rain so it's just crucial where these pieces on the map uh, end up i mean most models do have this big ridge out west a big trough d diving into the east you have a negative nao up here uh so there's a lot of different things that are that are in play and uh if it's the negative NAO is overestimated here. Uh, the 50-50 low is overestimated, or this is underestimated or overestimated. The high pressure is out of position. There's a lot of different things that uh, have to come together just perfectly. These are the, when I said stars aligned, here's your stars. One, two, there's one here, there's one here, there's another one right here, high pressure right here, and the fifth would be this uh, area low pressure come up the coast. So a lot of different pieces have to come together just right for there to be a, to be a snow event. And uh, there's no guarantee that those areas in northeastern PA and central PA will be snow either. So we have a lot of, a lot of time to look at this yet. This is now uh, looking at uh, Sunday, Sunday night time frame. Uh, for the meantime, we'll just uh, wait and see how this plays out of the model guidance and come up with a better forecast as we get a little bit closer. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marcher. So that is your outlook for March 15th, 2016. Have a great Tuesday.